welcome back to Shop and More with Kimberly and Santos. Yeah, yeah. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about all the newness that the comp all these companies are dropping, including Bath and Body Works, Dirty Soul Soap Company, Soul de Janeiro, Dove. I mean, there's so many companies that's dropping all the newness, and yeah, we want to talk about it. So yeah, grab you a snack, pen and paper, and write down some notes because a lot of this stuff I am so excited for. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed, turn your notifications on so you never miss out on our videos. And yeah, thank you for all our returning subscribers. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first one I want to talk about is Sol de Janeiro. Um, they finally brought out the body butter, the body butter for the number 71. Um, it is limited edition. And a lot of people are saying that it smells exactly like the body spray. So I would love to add that in my collection because the number 71 is my absolute favorite from the whole line. So yeah, super excited about that. And keep in mind, I will put up pictures. So yeah, super excited about that. All right, next up, we're going to talk about Bath and Body Works. Uh, now, the new holiday collections, they are rolling in stores already, um, so keep that in mind. Um, let's, uh, let me see. Where is it? At? Okay, so the first one is Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, I think the packaging is... It's prettier than the other collection um, in the Polar Planet collection as far as like um, strawberry snowflakes, uh, what is it, uh, snowflakes in cashmere, um, sweater weather. I think that packaging is okay, but this collection that has vanilla bean Noel, winter candy apple, and I think twisted peppermint, I think this collection in collection is prettier in my opinion what do you think as like it looks like the trees oh, I see. it's okay it's um i think i think it's hard to tell in the pictures yeah a lot of times for me seeing it in person it's different than seeing it in a picture or on camera um I mean, it looks okay from here in the picture, but I really would like to see it in person to give my final opinion because sometimes they look better in person. I agree. Um, it looks like it's going to have the body butter, diamond shimmer mist, fine fragrance mist, body wash, body lotion, body cream, and it looks like a foaming hand soap. Is that what that is right there? Yeah, and... Something else, I, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah. Winter Candy Apple is going to be in that collection. As well as uh, Twisted Peppermint. Um, this, uh, Twisted Peppermint is going to have like a metallic pink packaging. Um, I'm not sure. I like that one. Um, from the photo, um, it just has like the minis. I'm pretty sure they're going to give us the full size items because Twisted Peppermint is part of the Christmas traditions. So, and there's the Winter Candy Apple. I think the packaging is so pretty. I love the color red that they chose. It looks like it has a metallic top to it. I like that one too. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah, I think I like this year's packaging. For this line, right? For this line. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so now the Polar Planet is going to have uh, snowflakes and cashmere and um, magic in the air. I'm excited for those two. And magic in the air is going to have a three wick candle and I think a single wick. And then it's going to have frosted coconut snowball. And, um, yeah, I think the packaging to this collection is just okay. Yeah, it's not like 
oh my god to me it's just like it's okay yeah i would like to get my hands on magic in the air snowflakes and cashmere of course because that's my tried and true set love that one i like winter candy apple and then i want to get my hands on the three wick candle of um what do you call it magic in the air since they with they haven't brought it out in a long time um and they are bringing back bright christmas morning that one reminds me of like a christmas punch because of that blood orange cranberry note that it has and i don't really like that scent and body care the candle i can get down with but the body care I don't know. There's there's something something about the body care I just can't get down with. Hmm. I'm going to try it out. You don't remember it from last year? No. No, I'm going to have to smell it again. I don't remember what it smelled like. I'm just hoping that um, the repackages are strong, long-lasting, and, you know, they're giving. Okay, so up next, um, let's talk about, you know, the scent that everybody is pretty much excited for, which is uh, Perfect in Perfect Pink. Pink. Yep. It has notes of uh, vibrant cherries, pink camellia, and whipped almond creme. Now, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It's been leaking all over social media platforms. I will put up pictures just in case you haven't seen it. I think it's stunning and I cannot wait. Only thing that worries me about it is the whipped almond cream. Yeah, I, I, kind of, I had a feeling you were going to say that. But I love almonds, so I love creamy almond scents, so I am here for it. And they're also bringing out a three wick candle in that scent as well. And it looks so pretty. That's it right there? Mm hmm The packaging is giving um, the older packaging from A Thousand Wishes. I don't know if y'all remember, but A Thousand Wishes used to be like in a maroon type of bottle. And it used to have like a big bow on the front label. That's exactly what Perfect in Pink is giving, in my opinion. Hmm. Just different color. What was that green one? We'll get on to that in a second. Um, yeah, because it says pink mist, here we come. Turn heads this holiday with swirls of velvety fruit, flirty hints of addictive florals, and an indulgent sweetness. Yeah, the packaging is so pretty. I mean, I want the full-size perfume. It has the big bow on it. I think it's absolutely stunning. And I have a feeling I'm really, really going to love this scent right here. Yep. All right. So anything else about Bath and Body Works I want to talk about? Oh, they are giving us... Uh, oh, as y'all know, Platinum is out and it's on the floor. It's the new signature scent. That one has notes of sparkling bergamot, silver blooms, and patchouli musk. We haven't smelled that one yet, huh? Yeah, we haven't smelled it yet because we haven't been in the store. Been in the store. Yeah, so... Maybe tomorrow we go. Sunday. I, I kind of want to go Sunday because word on the street is they're supposed to be bringing out Perfect in Pink for Sunday for Monday's floor set. So I'm hoping that they, they'll they have it out for the sale so I can scoop up the mist. That would be awesome. So we'll see what happens on that. Um, what else? Oh, Bath and Body Works. Um, for their gift bags, they're going to be, for their Christmas gift, um, their bags that they put their merchandise in, they're going to have three different colors. There's going to be a green one, which has like, what, Christmas trees? Christmas tree. Look like a candy apple. Candy cane. Got some mistletoe. Some candies. Yeah, I think it looks super cute. And it says Bath and Body Works Holiday 2024. Keep in mind, a lot of this information, we're getting it from Life Inside the Page. I will link her blog spot down below so she can get, um, you know, her credit. 
Yeah, and then there's also gonna be a red one with the same pattern, it's just different color. And then there's also gonna be a pink one. So that's awesome. I'm looking forward to, you know, the bags. I hope we get one of each. One of each, because I like to collect the bags. They're so freaking pretty. Okay, um, what else as far as Christmas that I want to talk about? I think that's pretty much it so far. Yeah, I think that's it so far. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> All right, so next up, I want to talk about where is it at? Oh, um, there's going to be a collection called, um, Emily in Paris. Let's see, where is it at? It's way back there. Here it is. Emily in Paris. Um, it says holiday 2024 collaboration, Bath and Body Works, um, with Netflix. And it, the, the show is called Emily in Paris. Um, there was a preview um, that was released on 930 for the rewards members and it's going to include um, body care, lipsticks, candles, and decor, hand soaps, hand sanitizers, and holders, and more ranging from 195 to 3695 Yep, it depends on which item you get. And it says the new and limited edition collection officially launches in November in the Bath & Body Works stores nationwide and online. Mm -hmm. So in that collection, it's going to have... Let's see, why is it all mixed up? I didn't send it to you like that. <laughs> um, It's going to have... Hold on one second, guys. There it is. It's going to have uh, Paris Amour. They're finally giving us Paris Amour. Because y'all remember uh, Paris Amour came out, but it was only at the um, outlets. It didn't go to all stores, so they're giving us Paris Amour. Um, and then also, another one's called Macaroon Cloud. And the other one is called uh Fred, French lavender Lux I think and then the other one's called Champagne and Paris now let's go over the scent notes Champagne and Paris is going to have notes of Champagne Spritz Elderberry Fizz and Lily of the Valley so that one sounds like it's going to be an effervescent, bubbly, bubbly. berry type of scent. I'll and, probably like it. Yeah, I'll probably like it too. It's probably going to be like a champagne toast type of thing situation. Uh, Macaroon Cloud. I'm really interested in this one. It has notes of uh, notes of Macaroon Delight, par par Parisian. Parisian Spun Sugar, and Pink Berries. <laughs> which brings life to the essence of French pastry from the yummy aroma to the macaroon icons sc uh, scattered across the packaging. So I can barely see it. <laughs> and the other one, Lavender Lux. It has the iconic lavender fields from season three. It brings a botanical fragrance to the collection with notes of lavender. Lavande de Province, Flirtatious Jasmine, and Vanilla Crush. Now, I'm wondering if Lavender Lux is going to be a repackage of this one, 
that came out and it also mm. had like apple and something else in the collection because this one has notes of lavender, jasmine, and vanilla. So we're going to have to see, get our sniffer on that. Yeah. Because it basically has it's the same the notes. the same notes almost. Mm-hmm. Now, Parasol More, that has, I'm hoping has the same notes. It's not listed on here. But that has like French tulips and um, I forget the other notes. It's like a long list. I'm not familiar on that one yet. But I know it has French tulips and it smells awesome. But yeah, I'm super excited for that collection. Like I was saying, it's going to be dropping in November. Okay, so what else? Um, okay, Pink is also coming out with like a Christmas collection as well. There's going to be three of them. It's going to be Warm Cookie, Sugar Berry, and Cocoa Vanilla. Cocoa Vanilla. Now, Warm Cookie has notes of gingerbread, vanilla icing, and gumdrops. Sugar Berry has notes of... It looks like cranberry fizz, pink sugar, and shimmering snow. And Coco Vanilla has whipped cream, uh, chocolate, and mini marshmallows. Huh. So I'm excited for the Coco Vanilla and the Warm Cookie. Man, they're giving it to us this year. And then also... They're going to have another one, but it's going to be in a different collection. It's called Mary Palm. It's going to be like a pomegranate type of scent. It's hard to see what the picture has, like as far as like the wording on here, because it's blurry. I don't know why my phone's been taking screenshots of blurry pictures and stuff like that. But yeah, that collection sounds very exciting. Now Dove is coming out with a um, Christmas collection as well. It's called Sugar Cookie Sprinkle. Um, it's going to have the... It's going to have a body wash, a body butter, a deodorant, and a bar soap. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to have like maybe two or three more in this collection. That's what they usually do. They have like three or four total for the you know the hmm. christmas launches so that's exciting they're giving us you know a lot of good scents so yeah that sounds freaking amazing okay now on to let's talk about a uh, dirty soul soul company um i'm not sure if y'all know this but her site was down for a few days only because she was adding more stuff to her site and I was scrolling through her website earlier and they have a lot of good stuff on there um, that I would love to try out. Um, now if you missed the Tutti Dolce line from Bath & Body Works that came out in 2016, Dirty Soul Soap Company has dupes on there so they have you covered. They have Golden Honey Praline, which has notes of... Creamy Caramel, uh, Praline Musk, and Golden Honey. And then another one from that line is Pink Peony Creme. Which has Blushing Peony, Blossom, uh, Pink Currant, and White Amber Dipped in Nectar. Hmm. Yep. Sounds interesting. Sweet Lemon Buttercup. Are you look at me? You know I like lemon. <laughs> what is that? That one has Juicy my Mayer Lemon, Creamy Buttercup Petals, and Fluffy Merengue Sprinkled with Sugar. Man, all of these sound so good. Ooh, what's that? And the Highly Coveted White Mocha Kiss. Everybody and their mama went crazy over this one. That one has Rich Vanilla Mocha, Coconut Orchid, and Marshmallow Creme. Mmm, man. And then they also made Dan Berry Shortbread from the Bridgerter Collection oh. in Body Care. Man, I want to get my hands on this one. That one has whipped vanilla, almonds, and sugar crystals. Harley, if you're watching, hook, or, hook a sister up and <laughs> send us these items. We would love to, you know, review them on our channel. Ooh. 
Yeah, we love your products so much. It's absolutely amazing. Um, they all they added like 60 new fragrances, I think it said. And they also have like body oils and scrubs. And I think I saw candles on there as well. Dang. Now they also have like body washes. Um, so yeah. I would love to try the oils and the scrubs. Um, what else? Is that everything that I, we want to talk about thus far? I think that was it that we went through. But... Let us know down below if y'all participated in the five ninety five sale. We would love to know. And if so, what did y'all pick up? We're going to try to go uh, Sunday. Um, because I want to see if they um, have out Pretty and Pink. I mean, perfect in pink. I said pretty in pink. <laughs> like the 80s movie. I was going to say, what are we in an 80s movie? Right. Molly Ringwald. <laughs> but yeah, that is it uh, thus far that we want to talk about for Christmas 1. Um, let us know down below uh, what y'all are excited for. Um, they also have out uh, some candle holders that um what's her name shared uh shaylin on instagram i will put the picture up on the screen um it's a three wick candle holder and it's a chimney and it has santa coming down the chimney and it's so freaking cute but the price tag is 99 dollars, and she says it's pretty heavy um it's uh pretty substantial it's like um like the luminaries y'all know how those are really heavy well, she said that the three-wick candle holder is just as heavy. Wow. But it's so freaking cute. And, yeah, uh, they've got so many Christmas goodies that are coming out that are so freaking cute. I absolutely yep. love Christmas. It's like my second favorite holiday. Um, but, yeah, let us know what y'all are excited for. And, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and we'll catch y'all guys in our next one. Y'all have a great day and night. Bye, love y'all. Yeah, later. Mwah. Don't forget to good night. Bye.